Hi, it's Melanie from It Happens in a Blink.com, and today we are doing a little bit of fabric painting. Fabric painting is actually one of the easiest crafts that I think you can do to still get a really professional look. And one of the most popular posts on my blog is a blog post that I did about a year ago on tips and tricks to getting the best fabric painting results. So obviously a lot of people are interested in it, so I thought I'd do a little video today on just making a really quick fabric painted stenciled pillow cover. And these are the supplies that I'm using today. I'm using a canvas pillow cover. It is from Tulip and it comes folded up like this. So you'll wanna take it out of the packaging and iron it so that you don't have the creases in the middle. And this, since this is a canvas pillow cover, um, it's actually pretty thick. I've already experimented with a few of these and I did not need any cardboard to go in between it so that the paint didn't bleed through to the other side. But if you're using something other than these canvas, really thick pillow covers, then you'll want to put cardboard inside. So I'm using this pillow cover. I've already been doing some painting today. So there's my stencil that already has brown paint on it. And I am using Tulip Stencil Adhesive. I've heard of a lot of people using several different things to get their stencils to stick. Um, and actually one of the most aggravating things that I hear people say about fabric painting is when the stencil or whatever you're using to get your shape onto the fabric doesn't adhere properly and then you don't get those nice, crisp, clean lines on the side. Um, so there's th different things people have tried, but actually using a real stencil adhesive like this one is the only surefire way that I found to make sure that your paint doesn't bleed up under the stencil. And then I am using some brown tulip fabric paint today and also a tulip roller. And then I have a little plastic bin that I put my paint in. So we're gonna start off by adhering the stencil to the canvas pillow cover. You want to make sure that you've shaken your stencil adhesive well. And then you're gonna spray this to the back of the stencil. Just a really light coat should do. Make sure that you get all of those intricate edges sprayed down. And then you do wanna let it dry just a little bit. just in case you wanna reposition it. And then use these arrows here on the side of the stencil. If you're using one of these tulip fabric stencils, they have those nice arrows that kinda of help your eye gauge whether or not you're putting the stencil on straight or not. Sometimes if your fabric isn't always straight, it will throw your eye off, so. All right, and then you wanna press the stencil down securely. Remember, adhesion of the stencil to the fabric is the most crucial part of getting those nice crisp clean lines of your fabric paint. So then I've got my roller that I've been using today, my paint, get covered up, and then you're just going to roll the paint onto the fabric. Okay, and then with your, when you're done, you can let it dry for a second or two. And then you just wanna peel the stencil off. 